What's going on guys? Today I want to talk through a scenario where you essentially have two reports that share almost exactly the same semantic model, but you don't have a shared uh, semantic model at the service that both are sourcing from. They're unique reports, completely standalone. They just happen to have the same uh, model, the same list of tables within them. So imagine the first report you have uh, has a long list of measures that you've created and you want to essentially copy those over to your other report. How can you easily do that since they're not stored at a shared semantic model in the service? How can you copy them over to your other report? Again, it's not the most efficient thing. It really would be best to house these in a shared model, but let's just say that's not an option. Let's go ahead and quickly walk through how you might do this. So as you can see here, I've got a report open and I've got this list of custom measures right here and I want to move it over to a new report that I'm building that has the same elements within the model. And you can see that uh, there. I'm not even gonna try to show it again, but it's there. And it's uh, got the same tables referencing within the different measures. So what I'm gonna do is actually leverage DAX query view. So if you come here, ignore what I was doing there, but you can actually come over and you can right click on any element within your data pane and you can say define all measures, not only in this table, but in the whole model. Now, in this instance, it's all stored in my custom measures table. That's how I like to do it. Keep it all in one location at the top of my data pane. But let's go ahead and click this. And as you can see, it does have this evaluate statement down here, but what I'm really interested in is the define statement. And it has all the elements, or excuse me, all the measures within my report here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy all the way down up until it says evaluate. Copy. And now I'm gonna move over to my new report that I'm building. I'm gonna come into the DAX query view and I'm gonna make it blank and then paste. Now, as you can see, I have the option to go through and click update model, update model. So let's just try it. You see that? Super easy. And what's this say? This change can be undone with additional edits, but you can't use control Z. That's fine. So let's just go through, I'm gonna probably go off camera and do this real quick. I don't know how to execute all at once. If anyone knows how to do that, let me know, but this is way easier than building one by one. All right, guys, that took me an extra 60 seconds or so, but they are all in my custom measures table. I should say I created this custom measures table first uh, by going into home, clicking on enter data, and just creating a blank table just called custom measures. Uh, now that we've got all these measures loaded in here, I can delete this column one. And once I do that, you'll see that it pushes this custom measures table up to the top, which is where I want to see it. And it's easy to access and kind of look through my different measures and the associated logic. Uh, now I will say that I did this the first time uh, before I got on camera and there was an error and it basically identified that I was uh, referencing a calculated column. So I have this calculated column, GL date is less than today. Let's not get into whether this is actually a good way to approach this or not, but this is something I had in a measure. And I think I had another measure as well. So you can identify that by just copying in the measures and seeing where the red you know, underlines pop up and then going in and creating those calculated elements as needed at that point, just to align the models. Uh, but just as a quick refresher, we can also leverage DAX Studio to identify any calculated columns that might be leveraged within our uh, measures. So on that first report, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to launch in the external tools, uh, DAX Studio. Now I do touch on DAX Studio in another video around pulling like a measures list. I might touch on calculated columns as well, but here what we're going to do is come into this DMV option and we're going to go down to discover calc dependency, drag that in and click run. It automatically creates this SQL statement, which is pretty cool. And you can see all the available fields down here. When you look at this, what you see is object type and the associated items and then the referenced object that references said object type. So in this instance, I would like to identify the referenced objects. So the calculated columns that 
in turn are used by the object type of measure. So how can we go about uh, pulling out what I want? So let's reformat this a little bit. Um, referenced object, you've got object type. So it would be a calculated column. So let's say where, I'm jumping all over the place here, but the reference object type Re oh, let me get my spelling together. Referenced object type equals calc column. And I want my object type to equal measure. Now let's run that and see what's going on. All right, so <clears throat> what you can see here are the different referenced objects or calculated columns, as you can see here in the object type, that are then turned around and used in another object, in this, sense, uh, in this instance, a measure as we define here. So all we're interested in is the distinct list of the referenced objects. So let's go ahead and say distinct, we'll say referenced, why is that so hard to type, referenced, object we'll say referenced table and we'll say referenced expression and let's run that so this is the one calculated column that ultimately gets referenced in measures that we need to create before uh, the measures are ultimately created um, that's all I've got for today. Very simple, straightforward. I'm going to try to start recording some of my videos more like this, uh, you know, a little bit more straightforward and to the point. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you like it, please like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.